G'day all, welcome back to the channel, Craig Taylor, GPT. Today we're talking safety gear. Now, as you know, I've had a couple of big come-offs, some scarring on here and some finish up healing there. I went and bought myself these bad boys. So it is a Titan Pro D30 Fox elbow pad protection with the forearm guard in it as well. Brand new, unboxed already because it just got delivered. Um, first glance, it's pretty impressive. That guarding area here is nice. Nice lot of um, elbow slippage sort of so, so I can skid there. It's got lots of air vents in it so it should stay pretty cool and stuff in the, mid, then in the middle of summer, which I'm, I'm happy about because I, I hate getting too hot in summer when I'm wearing gear. Years of motocross and stuff taught me to look out for what sort of gear I need. I've got a fair bit of history in this sort of stuff because of the years of um, riding dirt bikes and motocross and all the rest of it. Doing my research on this, I found something that was gonna have the least amount of slippage. So as you know, I bought some cheap, really cheap elbow, knee, hand protection. These things, when they're sitting on the elbow, the moment you come down, you come down onto something, bang onto that, and you're moving and you've got forward momentum, so if you're driving forward, the first thing that happens, happens to these is they slide up your arm, and then when you hit, obviously you hit here, all this just gets gouged out. So the ideal thing with any elbow pads is when you hit, you, you drop down and you slide along stuff without those pads moving, so they, if they come up, your forearms are toast straight away. I mean, when I hit the deck, it takes me two to four weeks to for those ones to heal up. This is about probably two weeks old now, two and a half weeks old. Small pads are fine if you're just having a slow, slow skate and you're not doing anything serious. If you're gonna go out and get some speed behind you, get some serious, you know, you're doing a bit of off-roading, like obviously the Tramper and the Baja board that I've been riding, those sorts of boards, serious boards, if you go out in a Lacroix or something and you've got some speed, some fl a Flux or a Cali or any of those sorts of bigger boards with a lot more speed behind them, the best thing you can do is buy something with a forearm guard, a good elbow slider, so when you're hitting the deck, when they come down, they hit and they don't go anywhere. They hold true on that forearm so your forearm doesn't get gouged out. Now I'm gonna open this up, have a quick look at it. I'm gonna put one on so you can have a bit of a squeeze too and we'll see how we go. Got my U-Butte scissors here so I don't damage the goods because I don't wanna smash them up before I get going. Oh, look at that. Some nice, nice packaging, well put together, simple, no wastage. Got a sizing chart there for skin, you know, small, medium, large, all the rest of it. So fair bit of, fair bit of info in the packaging. Just making sure I get this off the right way so I don't stuff them up. Just one inside the other here, so I'm just gonna pull one out. All right, so as you can see, they put a little bit of plastic between them just to keep them good. Now, with this one here, it's got three straps. So there's got the top strap, which goes around, believe it or not, your bicep. It's got the middle strap, so it goes around the inner, inner forearm and the and the lower strap. This one's probably the most important strap because when you're hitting the deck when you're skating, that one's gonna stop you from sliding down. Plus it's got a nice little bit of material in there so you can feed your arm through and get it posi positioned before you start putting the straps on. So straight on the arm it goes, pretty good. It goes straight on there nicely. It's nice and snug and secure as you can see. Do the bottom strap up, beautiful. Do the middle strap up, beautiful. So right now it's pretty snug straight away and it's not gonna really slide up there. Now when you chuck the bicep one on, this is probably gonna be a bit annoying for some people who are not used to these sorts of straps. As I said, riding dirt bikes for a long time, it didn't really worry me too much. But the luxury for this is, when you hit that deck, that, that is not going anywhere, you see? All right, you can still straighten your arm out. It gets a little bit tiresome. It'll pinch a little bit if you're not used to it. You can wear um, some skins or something like that underneath it if you want to, if you feel that way inclined. But for me, that's gonna be as natural and as good feeling as I can get. Pretty happy with that. That's gonna stop that impact. And it's also gonna stop, it, stop me from gouging out that forearm. As they're made for motocross, they're not made for e-skating uh, or scootering, but as they're made for motocross, the idea is to obviously be sitting in that position where you're riding a dirt bike with handlebars and stuff. But realistically, most of the time when I skate, my arms are semi-bent anyway. So it'll be pretty good. Just gonna be mindful of this here. 
Some people might find it pinches a little bit, it squishes up that arm a little bit. Uh, it's a bit annoying, not for, for me, I'm, I'm not too fussed, but it's pretty good. Anyway, that is my uh, new elbow pads from Fox. Protect that forearm and that, for, oh, all those cuts and abrasions, I don't want them anymore. And the luxury is, is that doesn't matter how hard I hit, if I'm flying at 20, 30k an hour, and I hit the deck, because of those three bands and that little bit of skin, really gonna hold true. The luxury of this is also, I'm gonna pause it right here. I'm gonna chuck my jacket on. I'm gonna put it over the top as well so you can see what it looks like over the jacket. I got extra large ones of these. Try to keep away from that microphone so you don't get gouged out with noise and banging. All right, so right now, it's a little bit firm, that's okay. A little bit firm, that little skin, so I open those right up. Gonna pull that skin up, make sure the skin's fitting and it's up onto that elbow. Right now, that's snug by itself straight away. All right, it's pretty good. All right, quick strap there, quick strap there. As you can see, the bicep strap straight around the back of the sleeve there. All right, that's as good as anything. That's gonna be better than any of these little pads that you can buy. I mean, these ones were really cheap. They were from a, a sporting, sporting store with some skate gear in the back of it. Really, really super cheap. Right now, that's as good as anything, and I'm pretty pleased with that. So anyway, that's just my little take on what I'm getting um, to stop those big abrasions and those slice-ups of those arms. Throw a bit of a skate around, and I'll give you a bit of a wrap-up at the end what I think of them. Right now, pretty damn pleased. <coughs> Just to give you a rundown of the inside of these and the makeup of them, as you can see, you got the harder shell on the outside. You can see this orange piece through the middle here or just in the background of that. Can you see that orange area? In the middle there, you might be able to see it in here. Well, maybe not. In, in there, you can see the orange section there um, a little bit. Don't know if you can really see it. Anyway, the orange section is an impact zone. Um, so you've got the impact foam in the middle of this thing, plus you've got the fitted black foam on the inside of there as well, which sort of contours and dissipates a lot of the impact through. To give you a heads up too, I'll pull this open so you can see. CE certification in there, there it is. CE certification, so it is CE certified E type A, EN 1621-1. 2012. So it has got a, a CE safety rating and all the rest of it as well. Protected by D30 military, electronic, sports, industrial, motorcycle. Oh, e-skate. Oh, huge. Pretty damn happy with that. So it meets all the safety standards. Just to let you know, I bought this from an AMX store in Australia, Australian Motocross Superstores, I think they are. They were $169. Not cheap, not cheap by any stretch. But then again, once you've busted arms or you've damaged elbows and forearms enough times, $169 Australian, it doesn't mean a lot. So, Went out on one of my normal street boards and my carbon boards and tell you what, comfy as can be these elbow pads. A little bit pinchy, a little bit scratchy as I said they'd be in here, but other than that, fan damn -tastic. Um, Just to show you, obviously you get a little bit of an arm wrap, so just get rid of that. Hang on a second, I'll chuck this. There's tramper down on the ground. So I went out on both the tramper and one of my carbon boards, just to see how the pads would go, just to make sure that I, you know, was comfortable. And as you can see, a little bit of rubber through there, you'll just see a little bit of the, little bit of pinching in there. I'll just show you this one as well. So you can see a little bit of, little bit of scratching, a little bit of strapping there. You can see the straps just biting into the arms a little bit. But I'll tell you what, these things are gonna be absolutely brilliant. So stoked I've got them. Anyway, hope you all enjoy the video of the Fox arm pads. Titans, kings of everything. Anyway, just keep smiling, stay upright. Craig Taylor, GPT out. Yeah.